Greetings, everyone. This is a shot of whiskey. I don't know how many of y'all saw the description in my previous video, but to play catch up for those that missed it, I had some form of the flu. Now, I just have the coughing fits and I still have a scratchy throat. But on the bright side, this is the last one of these Asian questions bits brought on by those that I can only assume rode the New York City short bus. Let's get this over with so I can get back to consuming some of that yummy oh-pie goodness. That boy ain't right. Why is it weird when all Asian people hang out, but it's fine when all white people hang out? Who says that this is weird? Heck, given how cliquish college students can be, I expect to see that happen far more often than Asians hanging out with whites, even compared to Asian girls who date white guys. In my observationally based opinion, it is statistically more weird when an Asian is hanging out with anyone not Asian. But then again, it may have something to do with me not being from New York City. New York City? Get a rope. You know, I think at this point, they were just desperate to throw in as many bullshit questions as they could come up with. So tell me, what does a sunburn feel like? Throw hot water on yourself and you'll have an idea. Better yet, spend an entire day on a Miami beach during the hottest day of summer and get one for yourself. You are capable of burning too. This girl is on fire! Why do you keep trying to justify yellow fever? I'm not sure if I would say that I justify it. I have no problem explaining the logic behind why I find Asians as a whole to be sexier than nearly all races, perhaps the number one. But I don't think I would call that justification. That said, there are gorgeous women of any race, depending on how broad or specific you want to get. I only add that clarification because of a joke from Ron White. I got thrown out of a bar in New York City. I don't remember which special this specific example is from, but he said that every person, male and female, from the Inuit tribe was but ugly, and it's possibly due to inbreeding. Whether his joke is accurate or not, there are plenty of beautiful Native American women out there. If I wasn't a MGTOW, I would consider hooking up with a woman of any race. I wouldn't care about that in this hypothetical scenario, but instead on whatever she can bring to the table and her personality traits. You know how I get when all that jabbering starts and... You know, it just makes me crazy sometimes. You know how I am. Sure, other whites might feel a need to justify yellow fever, considering that many leftists oppose the idea of any non-white females hooking up with white males. It is also considered by some to be a derogatory expression, as pointed out here on Wikipedia of all places. There is also a lengthy piece by a professional crybaby from Cambridge who complained about so many of us whiteys liking Asians as if this is a bad thing. We are criticized by you leftists, so any of us who do justify yellow fever have a logical reason in doing so. I don't know why they use fever for all these things. It's not a disease, it's just f As I understand it, the use of the term was first applied as a pun for the title of a play written by a Japanese-Canadian named Rick Shiomi. The play, Yellow Fever, is a comedy about a private eye named Sam Shikaze. Amusingly enough, it made its debut a few days before I was born. Getting back on point, the term was chosen by an Asian, playing off the name of an actual disease. And yes, I agree with both of these brat farts that the slang version should not need justification when a white person, or non-white person such as a member of Two Life Crew, likey likey the Ling Ling. Why are we being stereotyped as cheap or stingy? 
Maybe I'm just cost efficient. Back when I first reviewed this BuzzFeed crap, which was about seven years ago, I had never heard this applied to Asians before. The small hats, yes, which I know the reasons for it, but not the Asians. Now, I have seen some applications of this stereotype in some entertainment media. I still don't entirely get it, but it may have a connection to the idea that Asians are stereotypically cold. Mom, Dad, this is Alan. It's a pleasure Where to meet you. Where you go college? Uh, Tufts? Never heard, not real school, what you do? I'm an eco-consultant. What that? That sounds stupid. How much you make? About 200000 per year. Welcome to family! While also being cost-efficient, as you have worded it. I'm not sure, to be honest, and whenever I try to look up this topic online, nearly everything that comes up mentions the rise in Asian hate after the you-know-what came out of you-know-where. Why do you think all Asian people are smart? I mean, when I was in high school, there was a Korean valedictor- No, actually, there was an Indian valedictor. Damn it. I guess you guys are right. Asians are smart. I have never once had this belief, and the morons in this video are proof that some of y'all are dumber than a feminist who thinks freshly aged adult women are fully grown women, except when they make the decision to date a man in his 40s. For example, this low-T ignoramus mentioned valedictorians. My high school class had three of them, one of them being of Indian heritage. So then, how'd you like to try this artistic and explosively spicy curry? Here you go. <laughs> the dude was book smart, of course. But as far as basic real-world stuff, like how to tell the difference between sarcastic and genuine speech, the dude was clueless. Going back to entertainment, I have seen enough anime to have witnessed non-smart characters. A lot of them, in fact. Even in Asia, the huge, massive landmass with hundreds of cultures, there are stupid people. Why do I say this? Because I understand that they are people. Everyone is a person. Most people are stupid in some form or another, and Asians are not exempt from this, especially when looking at many of the youthful ones who live on the North American continent. Good job, BuzzFeed. And with that said, we are done with this month's special group. Will I do this again next month? Well, I've decided to go ahead with it. Along with getting a degree of support for the idea, it also occurred to me that this particular group is one that still has a greater deal of leftist ringing over it than the Asian one, so it could be more satisfying to destroy it. Until next time, everyone, may you never forget that if you abuse alcohol, it will abuse you back.